So today's video comes courtesy of GEX. They sent over this beautiful tripod. Now this is a tripod made for making your wigs. They also sent over the canvas blockhead, which I'll talk about in a minute. But I just wanted to start off with the tripod. Now this wig stand is cold, as you can see, and it's probably the prettiest tripod I ever did see. It comes in silver, it comes in rose gold, and then it comes in this beautiful gold color. And what I love most about it is, is that it actually is sturdy. A lot of the times when you buy tripods, they are sturdy for like the first few times that you use it, and then you notice that they get super duper wobbly over time. With this one, I find that it is sturdy. Um, right now, I don't have it expanded completely, but when you expand it um, right here and make the legs go out super wide, it will not move and shake. Um, I also noticed how tall this one gets and how easy it is to adjust. So you can see where the clamps are here. This is where you can adjust. You can also adjust here here and make it go up or down and then you can also adjust here all you have to do is loosen here and then you take and lift this out and it just will easily roll down and then you just tighten it back up And it looks so gorgeous. Like, I think this one is definitely an eye catcher. If you are a stylist, um, whether you're working out of a shop, whether you're traveling, whether you work from home, I just think this one is so, so attractive that you definitely will get people asking where you got it and they'll be looking at the logo trying to figure out where you got it so make sure you guys check it out i do have it linked down below now this canvas head was also provided by gex and it is a canvas blockhead and it's used to make your wigs now as you can see it does say 21 and that just means that i chose the size of my head how you choose your head size is you just take measuring tape and you measure the circumference of your head and whatever how many ever inches your head is is your size mine again is a size 21 so when I make my wigs with this it comes out perfect it's never too loose it's never too big or too small um, as you can see here I have t-pins in here which I'll talk about in a minute and then I also have a ton of needles now if you've ever been to a professional stylist and got your hair sewn in when you walk in for your service you should already see that the stylist has prepared a bunch of needles for you this is the fastest and probably the most professional way to go about it because as a stylist you don't want to be re-threading your needle every single time that you run out out of thread on each needle it's just more attractive it's just more professional and it also saves so much time so typically while I am bleaching the knots on my lace frontal I'll go ahead and prep and get myself ready with all the stuff that you see here um, that way once I am ready to start sewing my wig I can go for it I am ready and this is probably gonna cut down almost a half an hour in time just by having enough needles already pre-threaded that I will be able to get through um, making the wig without stopping and I could just sew 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 until I'm done I will be posting my tutorial on how I make my wigs. So this is basically step one. It's just the prep. I will bleach the knots and I will get my needles ready and get my area set up. And this is pretty much a glimpse of what I use um, when I make my wigs. Here I have my combs, which is self-explanatory. You just want to make sure that you're able to part and, you know, comb and keep the hair from tangling. Uh, pair of scissors you also want to make sure that you have your weaving cap these are the type of caps that I wear to protect my natural hair I typically will do brown but sometimes if I don't have brown available I'll do black every time I make a new wig I'll put on a new wig cap I just don't like my wig caps to look dingy or dirty at all um, and then these are the particular weaving caps that I use at the moment they do adjust in the back stay tuned for my video on how I make my wigs and I'll talk about why I went from dome caps to these um this is the thread that i'm currently using i typically go for nylon as a personal preference it is a little bit more pricey so go for the regular thread if um that suits you um i also have this little container that i stole from my kitchen and this is the container that i usually will keep all of my needles i usually always have about 20 needles um 
on hand I buy them in bulk from Amazon so I have that link down below and I usually have a few um, hair ties in here too so that like when I sew down the lace frontal to the wig cap I can kind of tie it up into a tight bun and that way it won't get in the way of the rest of the hair um, I also have a clip which makes it easier to move hair out of the way um, this I both of these I ordered from Amazon these are T-pins and then these are wig combs. Both I ordered in bulk from Amazon. Um, you definitely don't need this many T-pins. Um, I just ordered them because basically I liked having the case and I also like having different sizes for different needs. So as you can see in the far left those are really big and then right here these are the smallest. As you can see they go right into the canvas block head perfectly so they fit. Um, I'm able to like pin in my tracks and pin in my lace frontal um, as needed. Um, and this is probably like a thousand count. I don't know exactly but I will have it linked down below and it's just perfect because it's kind of professional and you can you know close it and it keeps all your t-pins and you'll never ever ever run out these are also wig combs anytime I do a hair review and you guys see um, me show the inside of the wig cap they pretty much almost always have a wig combs in the inside so if you want to make your wigs a little bit more professional this is a great way to do so as you can see these are very flexible they're soft um, they're not too hard or tough where they're gonna rip your hair out um, I don't always use wig combs but this is a great addition and you can use the fabric here to sew it into your wig caps usually you will have one at the nape and then you have like two in the front each like near where your temples go so this pack I did get from Amazon I will have it linked down below and that's pretty much it so this is step one of how I prep for my wigs and these are pretty much the items that I use make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for part two to this video where I will show you exactly how I make my wigs using all of the stuff you see here also shout out to GEX for sending me this tripod and the canvas blackhead they are working out tremendously for me and I'm so happy to have this tripod because I hate that my old one is now kind of wobbly so when I'm sewing and sewing and sewing it moves and shakes way too much so thank you guys for watching don't forget to check the description bar on the link to where you can get the canvas blockhead as well as the tripod again you can get the tripod in the color rose gold or you can keep it simple with the silver it does, it does come with a bag that way if you are a traveling artist you will be able to go ahead and close your tripod and put it in here that way it looks more professional and it has a home thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications that way you will never miss a video from me especially my tutorial on how i make wigs which is coming up soon and i'll see you in the next one